Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it this is the lineup we've been given how do you read it jim well the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid, and I think we're going to see it be successful here. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, William. He's one of the best around when it comes to close control with pace, and that makes him an explosive dribbler at times who's very tricky to stop. He's also a very good striker of the ball, especially from free-kick situations, so the opposition will have to be careful about not giving away too many of those here. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He's having a go, oh, off the bar! And that's been levered clear. Bertrand. Oh, that's nice. Can he deliver? Crosses it in, great leap! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Chelsea can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Conte. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Conte. Christensen, across the field it goes. Neither side yet able to find the net. Did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Walker Peters. And here's Ings. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if... He didn't have people nearby. Kante tries to switch the play. Pulisic. They're more than happy to take the shoots! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, the run was really impressive, the finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. He's found his man, it's a... Ings! Yeah! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. 
Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Leading 1-0 at the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Jorginho. And it's William. Away from immediate danger. Zuma. Still just a single goal between the sides. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Conte. Chelsea are definitely going about this the right way. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Ward Prowse. He hits it! Hoists it forward. Pulisic. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Kante switches it towards the other side. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Cleared away. Chelsea are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And here's Hoiberg. Decent ball. Southampton certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And there goes the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Can you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable. But you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
Mm-hmm.